1, chapter 5, verse 4? What? You might have a Bible that does not have a verse 4 listed. That is because uh, more recent scholarship has discovered that there is an addition here, a gloss, uh, uh, something that a transcriber probably added in the 4th century to help bring clarity to something that a lot of people probably already believed was there and now is no longer there. It's this odd missing verse, so in the CSB it's down in the footnotes. Some Bible translations will put it in brackets, and it's believed that it was just a, something that was added to help readers as the common knowledge of what was happening at the Pool of Bethesda was being lost. And so it's just a, it's called a gloss. It's, called, it's nothing to worry about. We have great textual scientific study that helps us understand what was actually in the text and what wasn't, and this doesn't really change a lot, but it does show us what the people believe. Now, it doesn't mean that it was biblical and actually happening, but down in my footnotes on, on my translation has where that verse, you know, what, a, what it would have said. It says, because, so all these people are laying there in verse 3, because an angel would go down into the pool from time to time and stir up the water, then the first one who got in the water uh, that was stirred up, recovered from what ailment he had. Now, here's what was probably happening, is these pools, based on archaeological finds, were were filled through rainwater and aqueducts, but they were also filled like through this kind of spring water thing, and occasionally when the spring water would charge in, it would maybe stir some things up, and people had a belief. It's The Bible's not affirming this is what was happening. This is what the people believed were happening, you know, like a therapeutic sort of thing, sort of like the hot springs that we sit in now, or... or uh, some of the places people will travel around the world for these therapeutic springs, they believe that it had healing power. Now, it, it is fairly clear, because of all the manuscripts that we have, we can see really easily, we have this, we have this, we have the, wait a minute, now we have this, this, this. It is a huge blessing that we have thousands of manuscripts that help us to assemble and put together these things. The gloss was there, I think, to help people understand, like you and me, we wouldn't know what was going on in the pool. So it is helpful, but it's no reason to freak out as if your Bible is not true. Uh, it's just something that really probably ought not to be there.